What are the three disadvantages to infinite banking? My name is Carmen. And I'm Darius. And we are the founders of Wealth Nation. So before we get started, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel, like this video, and also hit the notifications bell so that you know every single time we upload a video. Disadvantage number one, when you decide your premium amount, let's say $1,000 a month or $12,000 annually, you have to stick with it. So if there's additional funds that you wanna to add to your policy in the future, you may have to end up getting a whole new policy because you were approved at a certain amount. All right, so the second point is, is that there is a seasoning period. What does that mean? Is that it takes about four to five years for you to see the growth of the cash value surpass the premium amount. Mm -hmm. So it takes about four to five years. The reason being is because at the end of the day, this is life insurance. So a lot of that money is going towards the death benefit, going towards fees and also going towards commissions. Mm -hmm. So it takes about four to five years for, again, you to see your cash value surpass your premium. Mm -hmm. Disadvantage number three your modified endowment contract or your MEC limit. There's a limit on how much cash you can add in addition to your premium. If you go over that amount, your policy will be taxed and it'll be taxable for the duration of your policy. Yeah, no good. <laughs> so just to recap, the very first point was that whenever you determine your premium, you're gonna have to stick with it, however mm -hmm. that policy was designed. The second um, disadvantage that we said was that there's a seasoning period. So mm -hmm. it can take about four to five years for you to see that cash value growth be above the premiums that you're contributing on an annual basis. Right. And then the third point is the modified endowment contract or the MEC limit. So there's only so much cash that you can contribute on an annual basis above the premium mm -hmm. or else it becomes taxable, which we don't want to do. And something to note is that all the policies that we designed, you will never go above the MEC limit. We specifically uh, designed them that way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so no, no worries there. And the reason why we wanted to share this information with you is because so many people ask, is infinite banking too good to be true? What are the drawbacks? What are the downsides? And these are the three things that we can honestly come up with. Uh, there are gonna be limitations with anything that you get into. Mm -hmm. And the thing to keep in mind is that as you are starting to uh, recapture, get all of those funds back that you're contributing within infinite banking, you're gonna have money and you're gonna wanna know where to put it. Mm -hmm. So there are limitations on how much you can contribute to each policy but that's fine because you just get another policy right. <laughs> Darius and I have five policies between us and counting so we plan on having multiple policies mm -hmm. which is actually a good thing because our death benefit goes up that increases cash value um, and that's just more legacy that we can live leave at the end of the day um, so yeah thank you very much for watching our video make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and again like also, follow us on Facebook and Instagram at WealthNation.io. And always remember, own your own lifestyle or someone else will. <laughs>